Well, no, true, saying, hey, man, I can't even talk to y'all about You got to learn how to kill your ego, bro. Like, a lot of us get fucked up around certain times, bro, and start doing shit we ain't got no business doing to start dibble and dabbling this shit we don't have to dibble and dabble in. And I tell motherfuckers every day, man, you got to learn how to control your ego. That fucks up a lot of money. That fucks up a lot of time. That fucks up a lot of love that you may get. That fucks up a lot of opportunities that open up doors for you, man, and you will never notice that shit. Sometimes you got to kill your motherfucking ego, bro, and stop always putting your ego ahead of yourself. Like I, like a person a person who puts his ego ahead of himself or a woman who puts their ego ahead of themselves always be the problem for shit, and they never really understand that shit, man, until they, re until they really end up in this situation. Now, peep this. I know this guy, man, one of my peoples, man, who literally... Had had it all, man. Had all types of shit. The cars, the women, the jewelry, every motherfucking thing that you would think of, man. And he fucked it all up with just when you when you trying to give a nigga knowledge and wisdom and they don't want to take the advice that you're trying to give them. They rather just jump off the roof and keep acting motherfucking dumb and don't want to listen about these situations. I tell niggas every day, man, quit trying to put yourself ahead of your, uh, quit trying to put your ego ahead of yourself because you're never going to have an ending good road, bro. We all got to end it in this motherfucking world. It's just how our ending end. The end of the day, like I tell motherfuckers, your life is an open book. You choose if that bitch restart or that bitch end the right way. I tell niggas, man, ain't nobody in this shit got this life figured out, man. We just know what we have to do. We just know how we got to move and we just know how we got to be prepared for what's coming. Regardless, you can prepare for what's coming at you. You just got to know how to take that shit when it comes. Tell motherfuckers, man, besides you having an ego, you got to learn how to love, man. Learn how to love yourself. Learn how to be people oriented. Learn that everybody else around you have problems too and you're not the only motherfucker. See, a lot of people will never understand that shit though. See, I tell people, man. You put your ego in front of you, you may, you fucking up a lot of opportunities, brother. You may be in every conversation, maybe the woman that you wanted to be with that loves you and you never knew it. You 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 want to fuck with all these dusty cornball ass bitches and it's a real woman right here for you. But you rather go out and deal with these type of bitches. That's your ego being placed in front of you. You don't see what's in front of your face. That's an ego problem. A lot of niggas love the excitement and love the drama and love the being stupid ass shit. Love to always be around the dumb motherfuckers instead of the graduate motherfuckers. The ones who got a brain on their motherfucking head. A lot of people don't never really got brains on their head. They rather just for you to always argue and go back and forth and do dumb ass shit like bro fuck all that man i tell niggas right now if you got time on your hands man you ain't got time to be ar if you ain't got time on your hands you ain't got time to be arguing with motherfuckers you ain't got time to be showing nobody attention you ain't got time to be giving nobody advice that don't want to take it you ain't got time to be hanging around on motherfuckers that's wasting your time an ego is the problem in this motherfucking world for a lot of people when you got an ego bro you literally act like everything just about fucking you and it's really not bro a ego is not just, a ego don't consist just you, nigga. It doesn't consist you. A ego consists your, your habitats of what the fuck you want. And you feel like if you're not going to get what you want out of your situ out of the situation with somebody else or out of your situation, then you're going to be mad and treat other people like shit. That's an ego, bro. That's a worse ego. Everything's not about you. That's one thing people got to start understanding in this motherfucking world. Everything is just not about them. It's not, bro. Pay attention to, to pay attention to everything that's in front of your ass. Pay attention to how you move and pay attention to what you do. Pay attention to your mind frame. Pay attention to everything that you motherfucking go through in this world and you will start understanding step by step, little by little, eye by eye, that everything is not about you, bro. You would never get far having a fucking ego. You would never succeed having a fucking ego. It's all about what the fuck you do to get this ego shit in control, bro. And that's what I want niggas to understand, bro. It's just, it's just, what are you going to do with your life? How are you going to move? What is your next movement? What is your next shift? What is your next, what is your next fucking graduate line? Like, what are you going to do? Where are you going to go? Like, you going left the motherfucker, you going left the motherfucking right. What are you doing? Where are you, what are you going? Like, what, you going left the motherfucking right, bro. Pick, pick a side, bro. Pick a place. Because regardless, I tell motherfuckers every day, man, we all, we all want to, we all trying to get somewhere. But that don't mean our, put our life is at a fucking destruction point or, or be destruct, destructive to everything that's around us. Because you can be a destructive device, my nigga. You, everything around you can unfold and unramble. It can, it can fold and ramble. My bad. Like that's the that's the whole thing. Like you don't want your life to you don't want your life to unfold and ramble, bro. That shit gonna be fucking bad, bro. Because everything around you is gonna crash. See, see, I uh, you know, I was talking to one of my Mexican brothers, and um, uh, 
we was having a conversation and you know Mexicans do different shit you feel me they got different rituals and things that they do like to 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 show different things so he told me he like basically if you put you put you crack an egg you put it in a cup and you look up you it, it, you look at if it's upside down if it's upside down that means it's your environment if it's upside up that mean it's your um that mean it's you he was basically saying if the if the, if the uh, egg looking down, that mean it's a face. It look like kind of like a facial thing. That mean it's your. That mean it's uh you. Like it's your pride. Like that's your mindset. It's an ego thing. But if it's up, if it's up, that mean. That mean that it's cloggy. That mean, it's your environment. Like he said, he said, he said, like bro, he said it's a Mexican thing. He was just teaching me something. I'm like that shit crazy. Cause the egg when I looked down, it kind of looked like a face. Sometimes, bro, you you need to change. You need to change environment to become a better man or to become a better woman, bro. Like a, a lot of people, I tell you, you will never know if you don't fucking try to get to what you're trying to do. You will never know if you don't try to contain your attitude and understand that people b just care, just be, just just be out of love, bro. Be there for out of love, bro. Then being there for a lust situation or an ego situation or something not going your motherfucking way and you don't know why. But you got to understand, be there for yourself and you and, and the next motherfucker that's with you. Show them love as well as they showing you love. Quit being so egotistic, my nigga. That egotistic shit is not going to help you, bro. It's going to always put shit in front of you. And it's gonna, every time you get something that's good to for you, you're going to end up fucking it up because you feel like everything's not happening on your dime or on your time or when you doing like I told my little brother Plex yesterday, bro, we was talking and I told him I said, man, dog, fuck what everybody else gotta say, bro. Regardless of how a nigga may feel, man, people gonna bully on you and do what they wanna do because they insecure about themselves. That's naturally what bullies do. That's how they move. They they talk about niggas and do everything else cause they life ain't shit and it's in a hole. So at the end of the day, you why you do I niggas talking about you, bro? You're, you gonna, I guarantee you in these years, you're going to be a billionaire, a millionaire, doing shit that other motherfuckers never thought you could do and doing shit that other motherfuckers don't have the balls to do. So remember, learn how to contain your ego and learn how to observe and be and be, be a person that comes from love versus coming from always egotistic shit and thinking everything about them. Peace. Follow me at actual truth underscore. Follow me at tg.truth. Like, comment, subscribe to actual truth. Peace.